Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode at Dynamic Tinting and Windscreens. We've been extremely busy lately, which uh, put a bit of a pause on making some videos. But Luke said to me at the start of the week, hey bro, do you want to work a Saturday? And I was like, not really, but yeah, what do you got for me? So I'm going to show you guys what we've got planned for today. Um, have I ever felt small in my life? Yes, every day I'm with Luke. And then I walked in and check it out. What are we doing, brother? Well, we've got a truck in for some windscreen replacement. Yep. We've also got a Volvo truck in for some tinting. And I've got to go on site and do a small truck windscreen later on. What's this? <laughs> what, did you just want to hang out with your friends, you know, big things? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Saturday mornings and this is what we're into. And what did you say? We've got to, they've got to be done ASAP, eh? Yeah, very quickly, because oh. they've been pulled off site. Sweet. Oh, we'll so I've already got one windscreen out of this. Beautiful. Which is nice and... Damaged. Oh, nice. Oh. Sweet. So these ones here, they come in um, two lots, so you've got obviously drivers and passengers. You can actually separate them, do one individually, and keep the rubber in there. Um, I'll show you this truck quickly in here, but there might not be volume because the guys next door are playing music, so I'll just show you the truck quickly. Yeah, so that's the one I'll be doing. Um, Luke's gonna chuck the windscreen in on this one now, so I'm gonna set this bad boy up, and hopefully we should be able to get a cool little time lapse of um, him installing it. So, you guys will see firsthand how Western Star driver side window goes in. Should be interesting. So Luke's gonna do the passenger side one too. I didn't realize you are doing both. Boom, so as a loop, remove and put two in. Piece of cake. Done. How were they? Piss, piss. Piss, piss. Yeah. Be honest with me, don't lie to the camera because the people need to know how good I am. You've removed and fitted two windows in a Western star, which 90% of autoglazers would hate to do because they're not real. But anyway, what have I done? One window, two. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I tinted one window. I have no excuse for my reasonings to that though. But um, there we go. So obviously I have to climb up. Just chuck some tint on that one. Bang that one out. But I thought I'll do a time lapse when I do the driver side in a minute. So we'll leave you to chill for a bit. Simple as that. That's, that one just done what she's guys just seen. Um, Luke's just smashed out. So you finish that. I'll finish this. What's the time? 25 time. So we quite literally got here, I got here what, 8.15? Yeah. So from 8.15 to 20 past nine, we've quite literally, Luke's done two front, or two windows in the um, Western Star, and we've tinted this uh, Volvo truck. So it's an hour and 20 minutes, kind of inside of what we do in about an hour and 20 minutes, and it's eight hours a day, so. <laughs> You can imagine Sunday's good. Um, we do have one more job on. We're just still waiting for the customer to find out if it's on or not. Being a Saturday, could be a bit of a mixy. So um, 
We'll follow up with that in a second. Alrighty, so what I'm doing here is cutting out the rear window. It's pretty much tinted the vehicle. Now, I've stenciled the back rear window. Customer said they only wanted the three windows on sides and the rear. We're doing 35% and I've noticed that obviously they're sleeping in the back of the truck sometimes and they've just got like a curtain cross there. So as a huge benefit, we're just gonna chuck the rear window in um, just basically, you know, just as a thank you kind of thing to make sure the person sleeping in the back isn't waking up to extreme heat. The back of the truck, yes, does block out the sun from hitting it, but one thing what tint does, which not many people know, is it actually rejects heat. So, say if he's tinted, you know, the majority of his vehicle, he's sleeping in the back, that window is still going to be penetrated with a lot of heat and warming up. By putting this on there, we're going to be redirecting that heat and pushing it back out there. So, yeah, we're going to chuck it on there. Only a small window, so it only takes five minutes to kind of do. Cut the template out, and now it's going to cut the template into the tint so we can get the right shape of it. It's a very simple process. Just using what we call a backing sheet. Um, basically, we get these sheets from the uh, backing of house tint. So when we remove house tint, this the sheet comes off exposing the glue. Similar to car tint, but a little bit different. pretty much just like that. So I don't know if you've got to see that. Just reading some notes on there, top side, so I know when chuck that on, that's the top side, goes up. Yeah, this is carbonite window film that we're installing at the moment, carbonite 35% from Ultra Guide Films. Incredible film, um, it's carbon nano window film, which is great. This is our base model film, so meaning this is our standardized film, which if you compare the market, it's actually more the premium film. But by putting in good quality films, your customer's gonna get a better return of their investment. So, you know, it's kind of the way we look at it. <clears throat> we don't make as much money on tinting as most companies because the films that we use are a little bit more high end. But the reality is, I prefer a customer to be satisfied than unsatisfied coming back three years later because their films are faded and bubbling. We don't want that stuff. We want these guys to put the film on and it'll be there forever, longer than what the car's supposed to last for pretty much. Then. Anyway, I'll check this bad boy out. Yeah, so the, what, what is it, a Delta? The thing, I'm gonna guess this, is it? It was a, um, the, they come out as a Delta actually. Did they? Yeah. The vehicle we were supposed to be doing this afternoon, we still haven't got a hold of the bloke. Uh, it's 9.20, if he calls up and we go out there, we're not too sure yet, if not, plenty of days in the week kind of thing. It was a, um, fucking, Dan, it was a Dujeru. Delta, Tango, Drag, Delta, Duro, Duro's, Toyota, Duro, Duro's? Dyna. Dyna. Dyna? Yeah. I would never guess that because of Harley's. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so pretty much these 935 or something there. 939. We've already cleaned up the workshop, so we've got to do about like 815 or something like that. 939. So that's just ridiculous. Like, what, we were thinking like 2, 3 o'clock? Yeah, I thought I was going to be here most of the day. Yeah, so we're not. So we're going to be old men and we're going to go on a coffee date, which you guys won't see, but we'll see you guys on the next episode, which will be soon if we don't get swamped again. Next Saturday. Probably next Saturday. We'll just keep working Saturdays for some reason. <laughs> oh, geez, next Saturday. We're doing next Saturday. Beep, beep, beep for a second. Next Saturday. Imagine filming the entire night. We're going out for a few drinks next Saturday. And, um, I don't even think MTV. We can't put that on YouTube. Yeah, yeah MTV wouldn't even be able to film it, put it that way. Children will watch YouTube. Yes, exactly right. <laughs> so, yeah, get down to the side. Anyway, that's us out. Done. I hope you guys enjoyed the new uh, episode. Remember to subscribe and like. We post a few videos now. Um, hopefully, start getting a bit more traction as we progress. The more videos, the better. If you guys have anything you want to see, just um, 
fling us an inbox, Facebook message, whatever it is. And um, yeah. Yeah, the girls. Yeah, the girls. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, the girls. Wow.